Mayor Tracker 7 captured these images this morning where a twin engine plane crashed in a field along I-25 near Larkspur. This crash snarling traffic as first responders work to get to those two survivors. Number 7's Claire Lavazorio is bringing us new video from a driver moments before the plane went down. A woman driving along I-25 captured the plane gliding along the interstate on her dash cam video. You can see the plane whiz past on the upper left corner of your screen. We're sitting down with an aviation expert to find out how the investigation will unfold from here. A close call on I-25. A driver's dash cam video catching a small airplane moments before it crashed into a field near Larkspur. We did find one aircraft upside down in a body of water just off the highway. Emergency officials say the two-engine aircraft clipped a sign on the interstate just before it went down around 745 Sunday morning. Larkspur Fire Chief Tim McCauley says rescuers waded through water to get to the two people on board who were alive but injured. That waist high water did make it difficult to access the victims, but we were able to, to get the victims removed from the area and safely. They also found the plane leaking fuel close to a beaver dam and crews worked to contain it. Steve Cowell is a local aviation safety expert. He says the investigation will look into many factors, including Sunday's heat and how that may have affected the flight. A lot of people think you can just take people and bags and throw them in an airplane and take off. Well, an airplane has a performance altitude. In other words, how fast is that airplane going to climb? How high is it going to go? He also expects the fuel spill to be a major focus. It's really important to contain this, not only from a flammability standpoint, but from an environmental standpoint. Less than two weeks ago, a plane crashed in an Arvada neighborhood, killing one and injuring three others. While it may seem like crashes are happening more frequently of late. There are more people that fly during this time of year than during the winter time. He says the NTSB will come up with a statement of facts within 30 days as they work to figure out a cause. Claire Lavazorio, Denver 7.